Hi everyone, so today it's just a little bit of an unboxing, but I had to show you guys. I got the Nameless kit from Fake Crate. I have opened it just because it was bulging at the seams, so I just had to get the stuff out to make sure it's all okay. Um, so that is what the bag came in. Um, so yeah, that's what it came in. It's okay, it's okay. Um, if you've watched my past videos, you know that I am not that impressed with Fake Crate at the moment, hence why I'm not as excited as maybe some other people. But let's see. So first of all, we have the nameless card. So we've got a little kind of like explanation of what's what. Um, it doesn't say any suppliers. So that's interesting. So I'm guessing it was all made by Fake Crate. Apparently. Um, so, I mean, it doesn't even, does it even say the designers for the, oh, okay, it says the designers for the jackets, but that's about it. So, first of all, we have that necklace. It's okay. Like, I feel like, I mean, obviously, I've designed my own version of the necklace, so I was, it, I'm a little bit biased, but it's not, it's okay. It's got a good heavy weight to it, and yeah, so that's the necklace. Then we've got a pin which says there is a better world out there which is quite cute i quite like the pin the pin's quite cool i like that and then of course we have our alien plushies i look how cute she is i quite like it it really annoys me that that isn't even at the back just saying just a little bit but i mean i'm so happy because now she gets to sit next to her rowan on her shelf which is gonna be so cute look so, I mean, the fabric itself for the actual costume, I feel like they could have just used cotton and it would look really nice. But, again, this is me. But I love the way they've done this. It's, you know, they've actually gone the full way. They've done the plaits down the side. They've made sure that, obviously, everything looks really good. She does look a little bit creepy with the eyes, but I like it. I like my little alien plushie. She's actually... They've done a good job. I like, I like her plushie. And it matches... Rowan as well with the big head. That's what I was so worried about. I looked at my Mia plushie and I was like, oh my god, it's not going to match. It does. Now, finally, we have the book sleeves. So, let's see if I can get them out first. So, first of all, we have... Ooh. So, I'll show them individually. I haven't actually seen them either yet. The only things I saw were the first things that came out. So let's have a little look. So we've got Kingdom of Ash, which is pretty cool. I like Kingdom of Ash. I like the art on there. Mm. I'm not too keen on this art for Tower of Dawn, but no, everyone to their own. Then you've got the Empire of Storms. That actually annoys me a little bit that it's green. It really does. I'm sorry, but it does. Empire of Storms. Ugh. I'm not really a fan of these, I don't think. Right, the bookish box ones were awesome and I would have preferred something like that. So that's Queen of Shadows. This one's cool, I like this one. I like the Air of Fire one, that's cool. That's cool, because it matches, it's the green. I feel like um, Queen of Shadows should have been red. Okay, and then Crown of Midnight again should have been red, but it's brown. Then you've got Throne of Glass. Oh, they've done Assassin's Blade as well. I forgot about that. So that's Throne of Glass. And then again, mm, they haven't done her on the Assassin's Blade. That really annoys me because Assassin's Blade should be blue. I'm sorry. I mean, I'm a stickler for these things, but like, there's a reason certain books are certain colours. And I just think they've gone completely down the wrong route on these colour schemes. Don't get me wrong, the artist, I love the artist. She's absolutely talented as hell. She really is. I do like her work. I just don't like the designs for these book sleeves, okay? I really was really hoping they'd be more similar to sort of like the bookish box ones, but they're just not, and it's, it's kind of a little bit upsetting. So, yeah, I mean... I'm afraid everything on this one is going to be sold apart from the plushie. So that's really sad, but hey, not that bad. Um, but yeah, so this will be the last fake crate I will ever be getting because I'm fed up with their customer service. I'm sorry, but I am. 
Um, the last two subscription boxes, no, last three subscription boxes I've got have been a total of, I believe it's something like half a year late in total. So I just think that's absolutely ridiculous. And when I did explain to them, you know, what the hell, like in the politest way I could, what the hell, this is late again. I have no um, tracking or anything for it. Not this one, like my last subscription box, no tracking for it. Um, they kind of just went, ah, eh. pretty much it. They just sent me an email basically going, yeah, it happens. Nothing. <laughs> 